Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Tony, and this is TC's Outdoors. And today, we are gonna do some cotton. So, uh, like I mentioned before, I wanted to show you guys something. Let me just find them. So a uh, company reached out to me with a product that I thought was uh, probably the most fitting product I've been able to review so far. So uh, if you haven't noticed, I'm pretty much always wearing gloves. So no matter what I'm doing, whether I'm splitting or I'm cutting, I, I make sure to always have gloves on. It's kind of been like uh, beaten into me at work for the last uh, 25 years. So, um, you know, I'm always searching for a pair of gloves, a uh, good pair of gloves that'll hold up. And uh, so this company reached out to me, Yard Maris, and uh, these are chainsaw gloves. So um, on the back here, there's a safety panel that is supposed to stop the chain uh, if you have like kickback or uh, the way I see is like if you were reaching underneath the saw or something and the chain's still running and you accidentally bump it or something like that. But uh, I thought that's pretty awesome. So um, we're gonna give them a shot. I, I really, we're gonna ruin them is what we're gonna do. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna cut them at the end of the video just to make sure that they actually stop the chain because there's no sense of endorsing a product if you don't know if it works. Uh, I asked them for two pair, they only sent me the one. So we're gonna use them today. Uh, I'm gonna be running the Holtz Forma, hopefully, if it starts. Uh, <laughs> we've uh, I've had a couple uh, issues with that thing along the way, but I think I've gotten it figured out. The last time I pulled and pulled and pulled and pulled and pulled, I realized that the uh, the choke was not hooked up to the carburetor. The, the handle was just flopping around in there. So I hooked that back up and got her tuned back in and I think we're good to go now. So we're gonna run that saw. We'll run a tank through it with the gloves on. And then uh, at the end, I'm gonna cut them. Uh, I'll throw a log or something in one of these gloves and I'll strap it down to a log and we'll see if it uh, stops the chain like they say they do. So um, there'll be a link in the description uh, if you're interested in something like this. Um, I, you know, first impressions is a, a good quality build. Um, they've got nice nice grip texture here in the palm, uh, nice padded. They do run large, I'll tell you that. So uh, I use their, their uh, sizing chart and I was kind of in between a medium and a large and usually when that happens I go with the large and it'll be just about right. Uh, that's not the case with these. So my hand's pretty swampy in there so I'm actually, you know, it's not a big deal that I'm gonna have to cut them because they don't fit me that well anyhow. But uh, either way, let's get set up on the tripod. I'll get my chaps on and we'll get this all warmed up and we'll figure out what we're gonna do here. So uh, here we go.
it's a pretty good little bit of wood. Um, so now it's time. It's time for the test. Um, initial results or initial review. Um, I like them. They're comfortable. Uh, they're light. And they go on and off easy, which is nice, especially if you're running a camera. Um, but we're going to see if that uh, anti cut panel does what it's supposed to do. So over here, I have a limb strapped down to this big cherry log and it's pretty secure. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how, how much power I should be hitting this thing with, but I think we're gonna go about mid, middle throttle, something like that, and we'll see what it does. Um, I think it's unlikely to have the saw wide open and have the somehow get your hand in the way of the chain. Um, but mid, or you know, full throttle and then let off and then hit it, like if uh, it kicked back at it or something like that, that would be more plausible. So I think that's what we're gonna try to do. So uh, yeah, let's get the saw going and try it again, or uh, not try anything, just cut this thing up and ruin a brand new pair of gloves. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> well, okay, so. Um, the gloves did what they were supposed to do. Uh, the cut proof panel exploded, wadded up the chain, loaded it up, stopped it. Um, it did not prevent it from cutting into the wood. So if you see right here, if I can see where I'm pointing, so right there, um, it did notch into the wood, but uh, as soon as the chain bit into this uh, anti-cut panel, it, it just spun it right around. And uh, so it cut through the side of the glove. So, I mean, if you see, Right, let me set you down for a second here so I can use two hands. So right here, that's not uh, the cut resistant portion of the glove. That's just uh, the regular, you know, material and it's really light and airy. So I wouldn't expect the chain to stop that or to not cut that. But um, on the inside of the cut proof panel, it did cut through the very edge of it. Uh, that was probably right when the chain hit. But, um, you know, I don't, I think it's, uh, I think it did what it was supposed to do. I think it stopped the chain and it would prevent you from getting cut really, really bad. I don't think that, you know, there's a pair of gloves out there that would stop the chain completely. So um, ultimately I'd say it does what it says it's going to do. Uh, you know, you still have to be careful. So <clears throat> um, I would say that these gloves are pretty nice. Um, I'm not 100% sure how long they're gonna hold up. I think I'm gonna reach out to them and see if I can get a medium and uh, I'll run them until I wear a hole in them and we'll see how long that takes. Uh, they are, um, I'm not sure the material, but you know, like I said before, the padded areas on the knuckles and the palm, um, it's super comfortable on the saw. They're, they're nice and they're, they're not stiff. They're like, they feel broken in right out of the package. Um, but they do run big, like I said. So if you're gonna order a pair, uh, make sure that you kinda use the size chart. And if you're in between, go with the smaller size because this is a large and I think I showed you guys before but that's my pinky and <laughs> so um, and according to the diameter of my hand and uh, all the things on the chart I was kind of in between a large and a medium and I would say I'm a medium for sure so uh, either way um, pretty cool product so let me know guys what you guys think in the comments uh, there'll be a link to the yard Mars um, Amazon store in the description and I'll also put a link to these gloves um, in the description as well if you're interested um, I'd say that they're uh, You know, they're worth the shot um, Ultimately 36 bucks So if they don't hold up to you know, if you can't get a good month or two out of them They're probably not worth 36 bucks, but uh, time will tell we'll see but ultimately It stopped the chain so good deal. So uh, anyways, if you're into this kind of stuff, uh, please hit the like and subscribe, share it with your friends, and uh, take it easy, guys. We'll see you.